Hello students. So today's video will be about bioinformatics introductions and basics. So what is bioinformatics? As you can see from this Venn diagram, it is uh, bioinformatics lies in the middle of all these circles. What all the what are all these circles? One is circle is for computing, one circle is for maths and statistics, one is for information technology and physics and then it is for life sciences. So basically bioinformatics is a marriage between biology, computer science and information technology which we use to analyze biological information using computers and statistical techniques. So the term bioinformatics was invented by Pauline Hogwig and Ben Hesper in 1970 as the study of informatic processes in biotech system. As you, uh, you will be learning about bioinformatics, you will come to know that uh, after using certain tools and softwares of bioinformatics, these tools generate a huge amount of data. What this data will be? This data will be macromolecular sequences, structure, expression profiles and pathways. So basically, bioinformatics is about acquiring, managing, analyzing and understanding these data. Moving further, these are the three main important person in the field of biotechnology or bioinformatics. One is the biologist which will be doing lab experiment and collecting DNA and protein sequences, gene expression data. Basically it, it is collecting molecular data. Another is a computer scientist. These are basically mathematicians or statisticians which will be developing tools, softwares and algorithm to store and analyze data. Third one, third one and the most important one is the bioinformatician who will be studying biological questions by analyzing molecular data. So what are the major aspects of bioinformatics? First one is well organized databases. What do you mean by well organized databases? See, whenever you, uh, whenever we are about, when, whenever we are using certain tools of bioinformatics, we will be using, we will be requiring raw data. Raw data is in the form of protein structure, pro protein sequences, DNA sequences, uh, or gene expression analysis data, whatever it is. So all these things have to be stored in some databases. So well organized database means we have a well organized structure where we are storing all the data which we will be using at that at an appropriate time for an appropriate software. Next is computationally derived hypothesis. Once we have raw data and a particular tool, then we can hypothesize that after in, after uh, running this particular tool with this raw data, we will be getting this uh, hypothetical data. So we, we are developing a hypothesis. Next is web servers, two which are nothing but tools and or online applications. What are these? These are the tools which we'll be using on these databases to analyze the data from these databases. Next is virtual screening of compound for drug development. We can also do virtual screening of compounds. Next is big data, next generation sequence analysis. What is this? It is basically uh, the whole genome sequencing. Moving further. This is the important part of a bioinformatics. As we all know, for life sciences, the central dogma is contains of DNA, RNA, and protein. Basically, DNA is converted into RNA, and then RNA is get, getting converted into protein. This is the central dogma for a life science. Now, for if we talk about the central dogma of a bioinformatician, it will be sequence, structure, and function. So, from sequence, we will be generating a structure. From the structure, we will be generating function. Or we will be uh, we will be becoming aware what is the function of that particular structure so this is the overview of bioinformatics basically we will start from resources resources is, are nothing but databases which are storing data in different file formats uh, like protein structure is stored in a pdb format or uh, sequences are stored in uh, faster format so, uh, Next is retrieval of data. Retrieval of data is nothing but we, these are the tools from which we are retrieving data or we can submit the data to the databases. It, 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 it is a two-way system. We, we have to submit some data and we can retrieve some data from the databases. Next is query. Uh, based on uh, retrieval or we can submit on submission, we, uh, we can generate a query or a DNA or a sequence 
on which we can apply multiple processes so for understanding uh, we, I, I'll be taking sequence of, or suppose uh, we, are, we are generating we are getting a query in the form of a sequence so what we can do with the sequence we can do alignment alignment is basically uh, we're checking if uh, there is a, uh, if there is a similarity uh, or how much percent of similarity is there between the unknown sequence and the known sequences which are already present in the databases so sequence sequence and alignment alignment can be done in two ways pairwise alignment and multiple sequence alignment pairwise can be further divided into local and global and if we are getting a structure in the form of a query then we can do protein modeling what else we can do with bioinformatics we can do phylogenetic analysis what do you mean by phylogenetic analysis it is basically evolutionary studies that who is the parent of whom and uh, what come what what is the next generation what are the traits of a next generation to next generation so basically we, are, we can do analysis and we can also generate a phylogenetic tree what else we can do we can generate protein structure prediction basically we can um, we can model a protein from an un, from a, a sequence whose structure is not known this is known as protein modeling or homology modeling what else we can do after getting protein structure or protein modeling we can dive into proteomics function production drug designing or drug discovery what else we can do we can do gene expression analysis how we how we can do gene expression analysis there is a specific technique known as dna microarray from this we can we will be getting raw data then these raw data will be again put into some tools and softwares of bioinformatics to analyze the data so basically this is just an overview of a biotech bioinformatics uh, series which will be uh, I, I have started on my youtube channel in the coming weeks i'll be discussing all these things in great detail so uh, if anyone if any of if any one of the student is not able to understand particular things at this time then no need not worry I'll be discussing all these things in great detail in the further lectures. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you.